In this video, we'll be learning about the power rule for integration. The power rule for integration is a method that allows us to integrate any function that can be written as a power of x. Those are the functions that can be written f of x equals to a times x to the power of n. Now the formula for the power rule, and this is a formula that you'll want to make sure you know, is the following. The integral of a times x to the power of n is equal to a over n plus 1 times x to the power of n plus 1 plus some constant c. Now let's look at a quick example. Let's say we have to integrate 2x cubed. While comparing this function to a times x to the power of n, we can see that a is equal to 2 and n is equal to 3. So using the power rule, we can write the integral of 2x to the power of 3 equals to, well, let's see, a was 2, so that's 2 over n plus 1, so that's 3 plus 1, times x to the power of n plus 1, so that's 3 plus 1 again, plus some constant of integration c. This leads us to 2 over 4 times x to the power of 4 plus c, and finally that leads us to 1 half times x to the power of 4 plus c. And there we have it, we've just integrated that function using the power rule for integration. Now this power rule only works so long as the power of the x is not equal to negative 1. Indeed, in that case we'd be looking at functions like a over x. And in this case, or in that case, the power rule won't work. For instance, say we had to integrate 2 over x, then we'd have to use a separate formula, a different formula that we'll be learning at a later stage. Now, for now, there are nonetheless many functions that can be integrated using the power rule. So let's go ahead and work through some handwritten examples. All right, as a first example, let's integrate 4x to the power of 5. Now, comparing this to our formula, which we'll just remind ourselves here, that's a times x to the power of n, the integral is equal to a over n plus 1 times x to the power of n plus 1 plus c. Comparing 4x to the power of 5 to a times x to the power of n, we can see that a is 4 and n is 5. So we can go ahead and use the formula to write the following. This integral, 4x5, equals to 4 over 5 plus 1 times x to the power of 5 plus 1 plus some constant c. Simplifying this a bit, that's 4 over 6 times x to the power of 6 plus some constant c. And finally, we can see that 4 over 6 can be simplified to write 2 thirds. So the final answer would be 2 thirds of x to the power of 6 plus c. And we're done. Now let's look at the next example. We have to integrate negative 2 times x to the power of 7. So in this case, we can see that a is negative 2 and n is 7. So that would lead us to the following. The integral is negative 2x to the power of 7 dx, that's equal to negative 2 over 7 plus 1 times x to the power of 7 plus 1 plus some constant c. That leads us to negative 2 over 8 times x to the power of 8 plus c. And of course, 2 eighths can be simplified and written as 1 fourth or 1 quarter. So finally, we can write this is negative one quarter of x to the power of 8 plus c. Okay, let's look at a couple more examples. Okay, now we have to integrate 4x. So in this case, the important thing to realize is that when we write 4x, what we really mean, and simply don't write, is 4x to the power of 1. In other words, if you just see an x on its own without any power written, it means it's raised to the power of 1. So let's start by rewriting this as 4x to the power of 1 dx. Now that we've done that, we can use the power rule for integration. And we can go ahead and say that this is equal to 4 over 1 plus 1 times x to the power of 1 plus 1 plus some constant c. That leads us to 4 over 2 times x to the power of 2 plus c. And finally, 4 over 2 is, of course, equal to 2, so that would be 2x squared plus c. And we're done. Now, as a last example, we have to integrate 3. So, in this case, it's quite important to realize and remember that we can write this using a power of x. And the trick is to remember that x to the power of 0 is equal to 1. 
So keeping that in mind, we can rewrite this integral as follows. It's equal to 3 times x to the power of 0. Now that we've done that, we can go ahead and use our power rule for integration. And we can write that this equals to 3 over 0 plus 1 times x to the power of 0 plus 1 plus c. That leads us to 3 over 1 times x to the power of 1 plus c. And finally, since 3 over 1 is 3 and x to the power of 1 is just x, this leads us to the final answer, which is 3x plus c. And there we go, we're done. That's how we use the power rule for integration. I hope that helps.